Hey guys, it's uh, this is just going to be a tutorial on how to flash clockwork uh, the clockwork mod recovery for the Samsung Continuum. Now you're gonna need some files, and I will have the links in the description, but they are right here. You're gonna need uh, Odin to flash the uh, recovery, which is the test four kernel from Adrenaline. You're gonna need an update.zip to apply so you can get into recovery, and you're going to need this media fire file, which is a which is continuum pit dot pit, which you're also going to need for Odin. So this will be in the description, and the link to to the XDA developers thread will also be in the description. Okay, now first things first is what you're going to need is you're going to need to take your phone and you're going to need to plug your USB cord in and you're going to need to mount USB mass storage. Now I'm assuming you already know all the basics, so I'm assuming that you have the Continuum drivers installed. If you don't, Google is your best friend. Um, so now, I can minimize. Now what, what you're wanna, going to want to do is you're going to go to wherever you downloaded the file to and you're going to want to just drag them all to your desktop. You don't have to do this, but it makes life easier. Because during the Odin flashing, it's very pesky to have them in your downloads folder because it can be annoying to find them. Like you. But, whatever. So, you don't have to do this step, but you can. This is optional. So, now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go over to your removable, to your uh, SD card, and mine is removable disk E, and you're going to want to drag the update.zip onto your SD card. Now, I've already got my update.zip on the SD card, so I will just leave it as it is. And you can close this. And that is basically the entire setup. We will now, we will now get on to flashing Odin, to flashing the Odin file. And... Okay, now that we have all this stuff ready, we're going to need to turn off the phone to get ready for Odin flashing. Now just give it a sec just give it a few seconds because it doesn't turn off fully when it looks like it has. I know that's confusing. I know that sounds confusing, but it's true. So now, what you're going to need to do is take the phone, and here's the USB cable. Let's see how can I do this? And so, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to press and hold the down volume button, and keep it pressed down, and then plug in the USB. And it will then get you into the download mode, which I will now switch over back over to the computer to show you what to do next. Okay, now what you're going to need to do is double click and open up Odin. get something like this, but I don't really know. So now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click on PIT, and if it's on your desktop, then just double, then use this, and double click, or click open, and now you're going to want to ignore a phone and CSC. Ignore those completely. Don't even mess with those. Don't touch them. Your phone will, your phone will explode. I'm just kidding. It'll, it, I actually don't know what it'll do, but I don't want to find out, personally. Now, you're going to need to go to the PDA, and you're going to want to use the, this, the tar that you downloaded. And after that, all you gotta do is click start. Now, you'll get...
recovery and this. And then it'll say reset. And then pass. And now it'll go over to the phone. And you'll have you'll have these weird lines going across your phone the first time. I'll see if I can quickly get a shot of it before they go away. Now I got a shot of it. I got a shot of it. So I'm gonna switch over to the camera now. Okay, well the footage kind of overlaps, but it's now booting into Android. And I just need to save this. Sorry, the footage is kind of gonna this footage is gonna overlap a bit because it just has to. Okay, anyway. Um this is gonna take a little bit. There we go. And now it's booted into Android. And you can unplug this. And Odin you can close because you will not be needing it. And I just gotta minimize some stuff over there. Okay, now you should be able to unlock it and Everything should be fine. Huh. That didn't happen the first time. Okay, so... Doing this, and... This is going a bit wonky, so just give me a second. There we go. It was just loading. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of used to Voodoo, so... kind of used to the Voodoo Live Vixes, kind of... like, really messing with me right now. And it might take a little bit to load. But, other than that, I'm using Launcher Pro right now, but... you should have... Everything should be fine. No, it's a good thing Facebook wasn't. It's a good thing. Okay, and yeah. So now we're going to uh, use the update.zip that you downloaded. So you're going to need to turn off your phone again. And again, you're going to have to give it a second. So, now what you're going to need to do is, see the volume buttons? You're going to need to press down both of them. Press and hold press and hold them both, and then hit the power, and then press and hold the power button. When the Samsung logo comes up, you can let go of the power button, and but continue to hold the volume buttons. Now, if this worked correctly, you should be able to use the up and down volume buttons, but... Instead of clicking the camera button, I will press the camera button. Nothing's going to happen. Instead of that, you have to click where the menu button would be. Sorry, this doesn't, I don't have exactly the greatest lighting right now, but I will try and get a, there you go. So we'll see where the menu button would be. Click it, and it'll start to apply the update.zip, and you now have clockwork. Sorry, I don't have an autofocus camera, but you have clockwork now. That was... that's it, guys. Um, since you applied... since um, you don't have a Voodoo kernel installed right now, you're going to have... you will not be able to use this last option, which says Voodoo. But in order to... So if you try and click the menu thing again, it turns the screen off. Menu and where the home button turns the screen off. The back button, here I'll go into the Voodoo menu. Um, the back button just brings it back to the main menu. And everything works. I've got an Android backup. Uh, it's definitely the first thing I recommend you doing first. And so yeah, so now you can flash the peanut butter P2 
peanut butter jelly time kernel, I guess, from I'm Nuts. So yeah, hope it helped, and if it didn't, I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. I forgot to tell you how to select things. I'm a genius. You have to click the power button to select. Yeah, if you didn't catch that when I was pressing the Voodoo menu. So yeah, bye. Oh, that was an epic fail. Okay, that's getting cut out.